Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I bet people are sitting there thinking, oh my god, fair gaddi to pounch gaye ne. Fair gaddi to vlogging shuru kar rahe ne. But uh, basically, we're just going to get a few things. I just see Taya the Taya the car jaa rahe So we've had an invite. Obviously, Mama and Papa's in Pakistan. Uh, but uh, we're going to be going to Taya Thai's house to have some wonderful food. Uh, Samira's decided that she wants to make some shishi kab rolls. <laughs> shishi kab, right? Which means short for shish kebab. Rolls. My nephew Hasnain. Hasnain. I think he used to call it, or I think Fizan, one yeah, of them. They used to say shishi kab. I want shishi kab. I want shishi kab. So uh, <laughs> that's what we're going to be making today, and she's going to be taking some to Taya and Thai's house as well. I might take some dal with me as dal well. Dal as well, yeah. yeah. So you know what? Come and join us, guys, on this wet, cold it's evening. Today. Samira, you can't even say, you know, like you were in Egypt and in Turkey. Garmi den al me maran lagi hai. Garmi na, sardi na. How do you say? Sardi den al. Sardi sardi den al me maran lagi hai. Opposite effect, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no parking. Oh. There is zero parking. No, here there. Oh, I might be able to get it. Yeah. Right guys, we're going into the shop to get some uh, I've already bought the wraps. We're just going to get, get um going to get some uh, shish kebabs and I'm not going to be using I've, I'm always using um ready made. I don't use I don't make them from scratch. So, ready made shish kebabs. Just so. makes life a lot easier. Yep. And let's go then. Chalo, car pounch again and now we've managed to get we've got our gram flour. They are shish kebab no bahana, sireli pane ki. These ones here. These are quite good actually to be honest. So these ones, Ramzan meat shish kebab. So we're going to be using them and uh, not a lot of ingredients go into this, uh, is it? No, no. It's just like chili flakes, gram flour, a bit of red chilli powder and a bit of salt. Okay, shishi kebab ready. So what's that? Oh. So we've got chilli flakes going in first. I'll put one cup of um, gram flour. One cup of gram flour, a bit um, of chilli flakes. Next one I'm going to be pouring is two. Uh, red chili powder. How much of that are you putting I'm in? I'm not gonna put too much because uh, then it goes too dark. Yeah, and it gets too spicy. <laughs> so, mix, mix it all together, whiz it all in. A little bit of snow, but you know what? I was a bit upset because I love the snow and I thought I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be all covered in snow. No, and it's no, gonna look all nice and stuff, but uh, it wasn't the case. It was just absolutely wet outside. They won't barish so I don't know. I don't know what be this British weather is like. Of, uh, well. uh, so she's gonna be adding one teaspoon of salt as well. There we go. Now, so check him out. That you will go bar. Go snowman, but not mange. Snowman, huh? No snowman. But uh, a sauce. I think snowed in. Uh... Was it in London or under Bradford or somewhere? Yeah, it didn't snow here, but obviously elsewhere it, it might have. But you know, like that, snowman may build on a bit. Never mind, eh? Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Look what I bought for Samira. Look at that. So her hands, her hands get cold often. And look how small and cute so this water cute. bottle is. It's called a hot water bottle shaped hand warmer. So you know what, darling? There we are. That's for you to keep your hands warm. <laughs> I'll be using that. Yep. <laughs> so this is the part where I think you've got to put lukewarm water in the bowl and then at the same time you've got to be stirring away. So uh, Samira is just sorting out the warm water. The first shuru Ready? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to do the stirring or do you want me to be pouring? I'll stir. Yes, yeah, stirring, pouring, which one? I'll, I'll stir. Yeah, and no, I'll pour. Can you can pour for me, please? No problem. Thank you. So, tell me, do I put it all at yeah, once or? Put it from this side of everything. Okay. How much do I put in? They keep pouring until I tell you to stop. Yeah, you just keep pouring it like until the whole glass is set. Keep pouring it, keep pouring it. Because I need this all up. Voila! There we are. Let's see how the outcome is coming up so far. So, that's how you want it. But obviously, it's not done yet. So, you yeah. just got to keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Fully mixed. Till it's fully mixed so in. What this is going to be made for is the. Um, to, I'll show you the process obviously, but this is going to be the paste that's going to go over the wrap that we're going to be wrapping the shish kebabs in. Oh, okay. Yeah? Okay, I guess that's ready then. It's ready. So, uh, guys, mix up the ara, and now I think we're just going to be putting the kebabs into the wraps. Yep. Jello. Okay, shall I open these for you? Yep. 
Sorry. All right there, come on. What am I doing today? There we go. It's a simple packet, love. Oh, no. There we go. Old El Paso. Right, shishi cabs are ready. Let's do these. These are so good, by the way. They taste actually really nice. Okay, so I'm guessing you just gotta. Yeah. I'm just worried that these wraps are a bit small. Yeah, we should have got the bigger wraps, any. Right. Should have got the bigger ones, but they might do. They might do. One second. There we go. There we go. One roll done. Well, guys, the rolls are coming out really, really good. Mashallah, there we are. So we still got a few more to make yet. Yeah. And once they're done, we'll show you, show you the next process. Geology. So rolls are all done now. And uh, now it's just literally as simple as frying them, isn't it? Yep. Just well, dipping them in and then frying them. Dipping them in that first and then frying them. So, Jalo. Okay, so you can put it in straight away, I'm guessing. Yeah. So there we are. Dip it in there like Samir has done so. And the first sit that and there, Bismillah. Bismillah. I don't want it to be too hot because I don't want to. Um, the outside to it's go. It's best to get the bubbles and everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so it's frying up as you can see, like that. And do you know how roughly how long you'd keep it until it goes golden time. brown? Yeah. Yeah, golden brown to the hoiga. Then you can start taking them out. There we are. These ones are done. Beautiful. And there we are, guys. The rolls are now ready. And I've got to say, they've come out so, so good, mashallah. They look mm -hmm. amazing. And Fufu's already tried one. And he said they are fire. They are yeah. 10 out of 10. So you That's know what? Good, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to dig into <laughs> one of these bad boys as well with some nice spicy sauce. But Samira, well done, love. Thank you, love. You're awesome. We're gonna do is we're not gonna end the vlog here we will meet you guys in thai and thai's house yeah. whilst we're having that wonderful uh, meal so stick with us stay with us and keep watching Shall I move this in front of you? you right, guys, I've got to say the food looks exactly absolutely amazing, amazing mashallah. So, we're at Thai and Thai's house and we've got all of this wonderful food to enjoy. I think I'm going to be going for this one here and some wings, mashallah. Oh, wow, look at that. So, Samira's got some nice dessert. Brownie with some ice cream. So, straight cream after food, we got some beautiful. What is it? Uh, ice cream? Sprinkles and brownie. And brownie as well. That looks really, really good. Well, enjoy. Looks like you're busy, busy there, huh? Yes, I thought I'll, um, it's quite warm yet, so I'll put it away in a bit. Till... Once it's cooled down a little, shall I say. We are now finally home, guys. We had an awesome time up in Daya Dai's house. i got to say the food was absolutely amazing. Food, and they gave us food. And uh, we got some Take goodies home, so. packed with us as well. Thank you. So that will last us uh, a while, mashallah. And not only that, you enjoyed your dessert. Yes. She really enjoyed her and dessert some as well. And and some ice creams. And there we are with some sprinkles Spring. on it. Sprinkles on it. Uh, Mom and Dad, Navi Gap Shop, you see, whilst we were at Thai and Thai's house, so you know, Thai and Thai had a nice catch up with Mama and Papa, uh, and they were chilling, they were relaxed, but Barava Jay and Ote Ra So they were about to go to sleep and uh, you know, zone out, and then obviously, we chilled there for a little while, and now we're back home. Hunna cozy or yeah, comfy or yeah, relax, Gariye, because it's wet and cold out there. I just want to relax now, and you've got your hand warmer there yeah. to chill with. <laughs> so on that note, we'll see you in the next one. It's going to be a little half face from your boy Shani's world and from Samir as well. God bless. And see you in the next face. one.